Okay, pilots. We're going to put some improved landing gear into my free wing 70 millimeter F-16. Now, there's nothing wrong with these. It's just I'm going to go ahead and put the improved ones in it. I've already took the covers off of one of the mains in the front here. That's not too hard to do, is it? I mean, you, know, you might run into a hard spot there to get off, but it'll come off. But we're gonna start up here with the front. Now you've got to disconnect. Your steering rod there. Because this front wheel, front gear comes with assembly. So we've got to get in here. Let's see if we can get this clip that's took apart. Move that rubber tubing down. Put my screwdriver in there and maybe there it went. It won't let the clevis move far enough over to slide it out. Let's see here. Nope, it's not on the screwdriver. All right. It comes with the... With, uh, Some extra screws, an extra Allen head. I, I, I guess it's extra. I, I don't know. I guess I figured you might strip a screw out or something taking it out. Putting it in. Alright, let's put this here. I've got some, some jets took all part pilots. I got an SU 35. I'm waiting on them. Twin light burners supposed to be here t tomorrow, and I just got off the phone buying my new FMS power system set up in my MiG twenty nine is ordered paid for on its way ran gave me a email there and told me it was ready pilot see he got me two 1900 kv motors and fan units set up the setup that go went in the uh, Avante, but it was the version two. Was it, it's not the new version three setup. It's the version two, but it's got the same, pretty much the same motor and fan in it as the version three had. The version three just they they done better on the landing gear. They improved the landing gear. All right, there's our. plate there. We got to make sure we hold on to that. Slide our plate out. That thing ain't gonna come up there far enough for me to get it loose now. Because it's not really flexible on the servo. It's, it's got a... I guess I could go ahead and take that screw out and get it all out of here. But it certainly don't want to come all the way out of that thing there. I don't want to 
gonna put this somewhere where I hit that frog. I said, they, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just I'm going to go ahead and change them out. Now, what I've got to do, I've got to put this landing gear down. Checking our polarity, I'm gonna plug this one up here. Wait a minute, let's see. Let's see, I might have to do that. I might get that connected back up. As much trouble as it was getting loose, I don't know. <laughs> might have to take that rod off, pilots. Bring the whole unit up here to me. So I'm good if I didn't get it hooked on there, Pops. The clevis is hooked on and snapped. Rubber tubing installed. Okay, okay. This is looking good. This is looking good already. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug it up. Make sure the thing don't go nuts on me here. Checking my polarity. And it's plugged up. Checking our polarity again. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, let's see if it'll go in that hole like a glove. Like a glove. Put a metal plate back on. I like seeing that little metal plate on pilots because because the the base of that servo is plastic. I mean it's plastic. So if you got that metal plate on top of it, that's just giving more support. I mean that's all it's took. There ain't ain't nothing done different than you say. It's got to work, and it, it's, I mean, it don't weigh nothing. It's like you're holding a dime in your hand. Get them all started before you tighten it down. Okay, it's plugged up, it's hooked up, it's screwed down. Let's see what happens when I hit the button. Let's hit the switch. You look like a winner to me, aren't you? Let's look at there, let's see here. Let me look at something else. Yeah, this even got <clears throat> an angle forward to it. While the original one stood straight up, this one's got a kind of angle forward to it. I like it. I like it. Okay. There's our front. Let me get this wire put back in the hole. Let's 
in the hole. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. All right, now then. Ooh. Rear gear. Ooh. Well, this gear is in a, man, it's got to be in a 45 degree angle. It's got to be. Now, luckily, again, we have our plug right here. I mean, so we're not digging. We're not digging. got to be up to get to that allen head to loosen it but we'll see but I, I, I don't think you have to take the whole thing apart <clears throat> I think it's LX model that you've got to take your whole cert, uh, retrack apart to get the strut out of the base I don't think three wings like that. I think three wings got two Allen heads on the side of it there that you take loose and then slide out. As you can see, it's got a flat spot here. And none on this side. So we've got to make sure we put this one over here and put this one over here. I think so. thinking I see it right there. Let me look close here. Let me get up here in the light real good where I can see it. So yeah, now we're in it, but we're gonna we're gonna put them down. Let's see if I can get it that way.
smaller island head, maybe. Get the island head off of it, see? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Let me see if it's one on that side. Way up in there. A little bit smaller than what I thought it was. I had two millimeter and that was a smaller than two millimeter. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. They're pretty tight now. So we've got to get that one. And I don't want to turn that wheel. I do want it to come out. a little bit more. Try not to get it to go all the way out. You don't want the thing to fall out. But you just want it up there enough where that axle should slide out. And there it goes. My flat spot's on the top here. I'll make sure I got them put in the right strut in. Put a flat spot on the top. Let's see. They've got a flat spot on both sides of the original gear, but only on one side of the improved gear. So we're going to stick this thing in here. That's that way. Nope. Ain't going to go that way. Well, I hope. That should mean... Yeah, both struts is going to fit either side, Pops, because they've put the flat spot on one side, and it's going to be down, so that's got to be right. That's going to be it. So we in, Flynn. Put just a little bit, well, if I can hold on to that one, wrench. Just turn it a little bit. Now don't go tightening it all on one side. You've got to you've got to go over here and tighten up a little bit too. Get snug up against the axle. Snug up against the axle. Snug up against the axle. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Didn't break my Allen wrench, did it? It's still biting on that screw. Okay. It is tied up. I think I broke my screw. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's what we're looking at right there. some screws in. Put a plate back on. And I'm not going to do the other side. It's the same way as this one. Well, I don't know how you do. Put a plate back on. I didn't strip out any of the screws. Didn't strip out any of the Allen heads. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Trouble. Trouble, I tell you, trouble. When I'm doing this, I want to give a shout out to RC Jim. He's a new subscriber of mine. Dana's RC. Man, he's 
He's been talking with me about that MiG-29. He's got one in a kit vision. Ver vision. Kit version. And he was asking me, you know, man, this thing's going to be pretty tough. And I told him back, I messaged him back. I said, you ain't lying. <laughs> you need to watch in the tube deep video on building his LX MiG-29 kit version. Dad gum, man, there was more wires in that thing than a power station, I tell you. <laughs> oh, Lord. We'll get a pop here. We'll get a pop. What we get a pop for? Give a shout out to my boy Roy. He had a hell of a weekend flying, man. He's got maiden a couple of his planes and had a ball with a friend of his doing some air battling, some formation flying. Way to go, Roy. Should have had them bound, I guess. Make it tight. That's not too bad. All right, let's hit the button. Let's hit the button. Uh oh. Did I unplug the front or something? Oh God, what have we done? What have we done? Here. It should be working. So we going. What's wrong now, Lord? He was with me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It worked well ago, didn't it, Pollock? So good. Now, what in the world's going on now? What is went wrong, Lord? I just don't know, pilots. You just, you, you just gets on your damn nerves when something like that goes wrong. I know how you feel when, when you're out there at the field and, and your dead gum landing gear won't go up and down with like you, you, you just can't believe it sometimes, pilots. You just can't believe it. You just cannot believe it.
no parts, I guess that's what happens when you fix something that ain't broken. Fix something that ain't broken. Fix something that ain't broken. See, that's one of them that you get to take completely apart.
box up the clothes you did not want to come out at home. scratch my eye like a 10 grit piece of sandpaper just went up my eyes they can be fun sometimes pilots sometimes they can be a pain in the ass and I'm going I'm going I'm gonna upload this video too. That's the reason, I, I mean, it ain't the reason that I don't edit because I can't edit. That's the reason I like watching videos that don't, as no, has no editing in it. See? I like hearing them problems. I like seeing them problems. Stupid stuff like this. Go ahead, motion. See, it's Sunday, Paul. It's a Sunday. You can't do nothing on Sunday. Okay. Why in the hell is that thing not going to go in there right? It's hitting that dadgum board, piece of balsa wood, that's holding you. <sighs> piece of balsa wood right here that's holding your servo in. The back side of the retractor gets caught in back behind it like that and you can't get your servo I mean you can't get your retract you've got to make sure that thing's on top of that piece of balsa now can you believe it She didn't see none of that in Pilot Ryan Media video. <laughs> hey, Nelly. Oh, by the way, Deuces, man. Deuces RC. Deuces Wild RC. He got his F5 up today. Or yesterday, when, whenever he flew. Man, that thing was flying like an eagle. He got it, got it balanced out right with a different battery, I think is what he said he used. Used a 3300. Had a 4000 in it and it flew nose, nose heavy on him. 
He said he put that 3300 in it and that sucker smoothed right out. And it looked it on the video too. I ain't coming in for a landing. It looked like he had his hands off the sticks. Now wants me to get all this back together, folks. Tucked, clevis is hooked, tube is on, power. I'm sure I'll have to do me a taxi test and maybe get her straightened up there a little bit. Okay, pilots, it seems to be working now. We got that in. Now we just got to get her other in on the other side over here. But I'm going to sign out and go in here and fix me a drink. I'm out.